Look at the 20. Wow. I don't know if you guys have been watching the news. I've been watching the news because it's like it's like watching a train wreck. And I have to watch because I'm on the damn train. And I mean there's all this stuff going on in Washington. There was, you know, there's our situation with Europe that isn't looking so good. And then there's like this hate crime happens where these two Muslim girls are accosted by this this horrible person who told them to go back to Saudi Arabia and that they should kill themselves. And then when three strangers came to the girl's defense, the guy winds up stabbing them. Two of them died. Another one's in the hospital. What's going on, people? I don't understand. I don't know. This is not the America I was born in. This is a weird and crazy place. Please, if you're out there and you're in Europe and you think we're all crazy, we're not. Like, a lot of us get it. A lot of us see exactly what's going on. And we hate it, too. It's... I don't want to be hated by the world for being an American. I didn't choose to be born here, but damn, when I was, it was a darn nice place. And we had good relations with Europe and most of our neighbors. I mean, there were issues. We had the Korean War, and there's still issues with Korea. But, you know, it wasn't like this. We weren't spewing hate at each other. I mean, I realize that in some ways it's ignorant to pine for the good old days. But, you know, in truth, there were good old days not that long ago. I mean, just 20 years ago, things were better. Forget Iraq, Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah, we went to war. But America was respected. <sighs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry we have this buffoon in the White House. I can't imagine it lasting very long. And hopefully we'll go back to a place that you can respect. You know, this act that this guy perpetrated against these heroes that came to the defense of these girls, that act was terrorism. Forgive me, but I think it was. To make someone afraid for their lives because of their national origin, their religion, and then to brutally kill those who would defend them That's terror, and it's terrorism. We can't tolerate it. They're talking about whether or not to charge him with a federal hate crime. I don't understand why that's even a question. Of course it's a federal hate crime. Intolerance will not be tolerated. Wait. I don't know, you guys. It's just a mess. And I'm sitting here under these incredibly beautiful trees, listening to birds sing and children playing up the street. 
that I know all that's going on. And it disturbs me. Let me know what you think. I've also been thinking about my channel. I think I kind of need a brand because my videos jump around like from one thing to another. I do a shopping vlog one day and I do a travel vlog the next time and then I'll do a chat and then I'll do some cooking thing. And I think I did a couple of videos on my eating disorder. I did a couple of videos on living with a veteran. Those got a lot of views because they were topical. Um, people seem to like topics. But I just can't imagine talking on those topics every single day. And I think if I did, I'd probably lose a lot of you. Um, but my channel's not growing, so I'm just kind of concerned that I'm not doing what people want to see. So let me know what... I've done that you enjoy watching and what I've done that was just kind of ho-hum, you know, that was okay, I came back, but that wasn't my favorite. It's okay to tell me that. In fact, I hope you will um, so I can make things better for both of us. Uh, yeah, would you like to see more just chats like this where I'm just sitting here shooting the breeze? Uh, do you like seeing me travel, uh, listening to Maya whine in the car? I know it gets a little loud sometimes. Uh, do you want me to go out, um, you know, show you the area I, I live in? Like those backwoods, what were they called? Backwoods tours or whatever that little video series I started was. I can do more of that. It's summer. I can go places. Uh, please let me know because I'm not sure how best to grow my channel and make it a happy place for you anyway it is a beautiful day in spite of everything it's a beautiful world stay happy, stay healthy get all the hugs you want get all the hugs you can and don't forget Granny loves you. See you later, guys. Bye. You know, just a little afterthought. I think as YouTubers, we can do so much to end some of the harmful attitudes in our society is speak out against racism, homophobia, and things like that. There's no reason why not to. Speak up. Speak out against it. You know, you can talk about face creams on your channel. You can talk about the latest YouTube drama. But take a minute to give your opinion on things that really matter. Spread the good word. Bye.